Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Ultima. Last time we started making our way through the uh, Magnetic Cave, and now we need to go and take on the Dark Elf to grab that Earth Crystal. Um, before I go in here, though, you can encounter an enemy called the Mage in here. It's kind of a rare encounter, and I haven't gotten it yet, but it can drop a summon for um, Rydia. So I do want to encounter it, but I'll probably just come back and grab it, um later on when that becomes more pertinent. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to the Dark Elf. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Of course I can't use metallic weapons. You're not invincible. Yeah, time to die! By the way, if you come here without talking to Edward, the Dark Elf will say something along the lines of, I'm going to destroy you. And then he will. He will deal 9,999 damage to each of your party members before you can do anything about it. It's ridiculous. So he's just impossible to beat. So make sure that you- Whoa! Wow. Talk to, um, <laughs> Edward before dealing with this Dark Elf here. Oh man, we're so screwed. Look at this. No, we can't defeat him. And I love how Tella talks here whenever Tella's obviously dead. Like, he's been dead in every single one of my playthroughs against the Dark Elf here. He's never once survived the Onslaught. <laughs> but he talks and Sid doesn't, oddly enough. Yeah, if only we could use our sword. Then we could survive having weak cast on all of our party members, and having all the level 2 elemental spells hitting us for 600-something damage. Yeah. Metal equipment will make all the difference in the world for that. Why don't you guys, you know, bring Edward's harp to him? Or help him walk or something? No! Instead, they do absolutely nothing. That's just lovely. Edward really should have just asked for them to bring the harp to his bedside. Like, how hard would that have been? Oh, yeah, now that we have the twin harp, his harp playing is being played through that. It's a nice sound. I guess he doesn't like it. Oh, sweet. Awesome. I don't know how that works, but okay. How Edward knows that or anything. But yeah, now we can go ahead and change our equipment. Not that it really matters, to be quite honest with you. Um, you could kill the Dark Elf using the same junk that you've been using this entire time. It really doesn't matter. Um, the Dark Elf is not all that strong. It's not um, anything to really worry. You know what, actually? Uh, yeah, extra attack power. And Cecil has so much HP and defense anyway, I'm not going to worry about his defense. Um, so the headband and the karate gi both give extra attack power, and that's what I want to go for right there. But Tella, give him silver. And Sid, let's see, does he have anything decent? Uh, still bucklers. I don't think I have another silver. Huh. Okay. Well, that works. Anyway, again, doesn't really matter. And you were fully healed. Very nice. Anyway, let's take on the Dark Elf. For the first time, for the last time. Let's see how much damage this Delta attack does to us now. From 600 damage to 40 damage? Yeah, believe me, it's not the um, silver armbands that, that we equipped that uh, did that there. Like, that's kind of crazy. So Tella is pretty much just going to be holding back for right now, just healing. That's all I really want him to do, just keep people alive, just have him heal, um, nothing much else. Don't bother casting any spells on the Dark Elf, it's not really going to work all that well. Oh, and the piggy status? I don't really care. Yeah, Yang still deals a pretty halfway decent amount of damage, um, even whenever he's piggy, but I guess I can go ahead and... 
restore him because there's really nothing else for Tella to have to do here. I mean, that Delta attack does next to nothing on us, so, yeah. Really? What is up with this? The piggy spell should toggle the status. In the menu it toggles the status. I guess it doesn't work all that well, uh, not in the menu. What's going on? Oh no! Yikes! The Dark Elf to the Dark Dragon! What you want to do now is use the Gale or Weak spell. And, um, once you cast that, it's the only spell that's really effective on the Dark Dragon. And it's going to reduce him down to single digits, and then Cecil can deal the, uh, finishing blow. That is the best, easiest way to deal with the Dark Elf slash Dark Dragon. That's the way that I've always dealt with it. I want to say that there was an article in the Counselor's Corner on using weak against him, and that's how I knew about it, I'm pretty sure. Eh, so much for your eternal life. Hey, hey, awesome. Get the Mighty Earth Crystal. Sweet. Okay, so, um, let's actually get out of here. There's really nothing else for me to do. You know what? Check this out. Go here, use Piggy. Boom. It works here in the menu, but it doesn't work in battle, oddly enough. Let's get out of here. Guess we need to bring that crystal back to a uh, Troia. Hop on board our Black Chocobo. Now, the Black Chocobo works by automatically bringing you back to the forest every single time that you use it, so it's kind of like a one-time-only sort of deal. And over here, we have a secret passage that I didn't know about earlier for the Cockatrice Summon. Awesome! Can't really do anything with that right now, but it's there. And then over here, there's another secret passage. Just gotta find it. There it is. For, let's see, some useless carrots. Because carrots never actually go down in this game. Like, once you, um... What am I trying to say? Oh yeah, I really need to heal him. Um, once you get one thing of carrots, like, you can use it over and over and over again to summon the fat chocobo. So, yeah, don't even worry about... Um, having multiple carrots in this game, so once you get one, that's all you need. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this white chocobo. Awesome. Store our MP, and let's grab a black chocobo to fly back to Troia and not have to deal with any random encounters. Now, they did tell me that they would let me borrow the Earth Crystal if I um, if I got it for them, so hopefully they fulfill their end of the bargain. Yeah. Well, what's going on? Who's there? It's Cain! Yikes! Oh. You're not just gonna give me Rosa, you're gonna take me to where Rosa is? Oh, thanks, I'll try to be careful with it. Ooh, use the treasure in the basement. I certainly will. Oh, wow. Well, that's bad. Because Cain and Golbez right now are definitely evil, and I don't want them to get their hands on the crystal and raise their power. Unfortunately, though, it does nothing for Cecil and the gang. It does not increase his stats in any way, shape, or form. Don't think that it ever does. I do, actually. Woohoo! Awesome. So, let's see what we got going on in here. Oh, wow, they actually have holy arrows. Huh. I thought that they got rid of the holy arrows in this uh, game, because normally we get those like back in like, Kaipo or something, and... We're only just now getting these holy arrows. So let's see what else we got going on here. We got the Silver Seed. Increases HP by 50. That is really nice. I'm going to hold on to that for much, much later in the game to give to um, a different character. So what I want to do now, um, since I have all this kind of off-brand equipment, the non-metallic stuff, 
I need to sell some stuff. I need to deposit stuff with the fat chocobo. I need to do all sorts of just item inventory management. So I'm going to go to the chocobo forest. I'm going to go to Trovia Town and do all that. And then I will meet you back at the airship. I'm back at the airship. I just took a black chocobo to fly on over here. One minor, minor, minor change that I did was I gave the fire claw to Yang. I think that he had the... um. Thunderclaw, I think, in the uh, previous dungeon, but a lot of the enemies in the next place that we're going to are weak to fire, so that'll be really nice for Yang to just kind of have on his person at all times. Hey, Kane, where's Rosa? You promised. We have the crystal, but you need to have Rosa. So she's still not here. We just have to follow his airship. Straight up! Wow, where are we going to? Like a floating tower? What in the world? Oh, Gobez is here too. We did see that in the meanwhile. You cur. <laughs> um, Yang, are you slow? Rosa. Oh, okay. Wait, what do you mean we can't guarantee her life? We'll be as quick as we possibly can. And what do we have here? Ooh, the flame armor! Let's go ahead and stick that on Cecil, yeah. Um, this one is going to give him a massive boost in defense, as well as making him um, resistant to fire-based attacks. So that's really, really nice. Um, let's see, with all that being said and done, let's continue on our way. Okay, here we have some new enemies, the Gremlins. Um, these guys are weak to fire, and so let's see, we're going to get, have um, Yang attack them. The Ice Lizards are also weak to fire. I mean, they are Ice Lizards, after all. So as you can see, Yang, Cecil, and Sid are pretty damn capable of taking care of everything on their own. And you really don't need to waste um, Tella's magic on much of anything as far as attacking is concerned. Okay, here we have a carapace, and they are weak to ice. Um, and again, I want to show you this. I showed you this last time, but it didn't really work because a lot of the bats were floating, so they were immune to the quake. But here, nothing is floating, and it's so... Nice. I mean, it, it's, it's not going to kill anything, but it deals a really good chunk of change, a nice bit of damage to um, all the enemies around here. It's just really a very good thing to, um, to use there. Yeah, that's the uh, Fairy Claws coming into effect right there. Dealing all that damage, um, or I'm sorry, dealing all those status ailments to um, the monster, because, you know, it actually survived. So we got inflicted with status ailments. Okay, here we have a centaur, and let's see, these guys, they are not weak to anything at all. Um, they have 380 HP, we should probably just be able to one-shot them um, with my three fighters, hopefully. Uh, not so much. Yeah, Yang's able to one-shot them. Let's uh, weaken them up a bit with the Gaia Hammer. And let's have you... Uh, cure 2 would be nice. I think that we really need it. You! You guys playing along. Between every single battle should be healing up with Cecil's MP. I'll heal up. Um, once I, I'm able to edit out, a, you know, a, a repeat battle or something, then I will go and, um, and heal up using Cecil's uh, MP off-screen. So that's just something to keep in mind. And what do we have here? Oh, a Marion and her puppets. Okay, let's see. These guys are also weak to fire. 
Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to heal up um, after this battle. It's just, I'm going to have to. It is what it is. Yeah, the Marion, they can call more puppets. It's kind of annoying, although you could use her to um, gain a whole bunch of levels if you want to. I'm not going to worry about it, but it's something that you can do. I healed up after that battle because there's monsters inside this chest with the flame dog. Whoa. Oh, actually, that flame armor makes um, Cecil weak to fire, of all things. I guess it's strong against ice, but weak against fire. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, let's put an Ice Claw on Yang to go after this guy, dealing tons of damage and pretty much one-shotting him. But for doing so, we get the Flame Sword. And just about everything in here is weak to fire, so let's we're going to take off that Flail and put on the Flame Sword. Yeah, let's see, so what do we have? 49 up to 78 attack power. Yeah, that is some nice stuff right there. Uh, it's going to lower your magical stats and your evasion and whatnot, but it's fine. Uh, so your attack is now fire elemental, so that's pretty damn sweet. So let's just move on to the uh, next floor here. Oh, here we have another new enemy, the Black Knight. Um, these guys are weak against fire as well as holy. So let's go ahead and switch off this claw again. Yeah, because we have the Isolas, everything here is weak to fire, actually. Everything in this, um, in this battle here is weak to fire. So, it's kind of cool. I love Cecil's new animation there with the, uh, Flame Sword. And get used to it, because we'll be seeing that Flame Sword for quite some time, actually. I want to take the bottom path here, because although it looks like a, um, slower way around, it's actually quicker. Oh, here we have another enemy. Uh, but these guys, you do need to use black magic against. Um, I wonder if the flame sword will actually pierce the weakness. You know what? I also wonder if the guy a hammer will pierce the weakness, so I don't have to waste my MP on black magic. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that guy a hammer is so good. That way, Tella can still focus all of his MP on just keeping us alive. So let's just continue on our way. This floor looks complex, but it's really not. There are many multiple passageways to go through, but pretty much all of them are just dead ends that lead to treasure, as well as the Cat Claw. Let's see, let's take off that Kaiser thing and put on the uh, Cat Claw for right now. Yeah, increases his evasion, increasing his stamina. I like it. Um, you could also take off the Fire Claw and equip the Cat Claw right here, um, greatly increasing his attack power. Um, but the problem with that is you don't... Oh, and it also applies a lot more statuses. As you can see, it applies the, uh, looks like, Sleep status, as well as Poison status. Um, if I'm looking at this... Oh, and also Paralysis. So a lot of different status ailments with it, but... I still want that Fire Claw because so many things in here are weak to fire at this point. Got a Flame Shield. Awesome. Wrong person. Let's see what this does. Um, still weak to fire. That sucks. Man, since when does equipment like armor make you weak to something? I mean, that's just so crummy. Oh, well. It's not the biggest deal that I've ever seen, but it, I don't know, it just irks me. I'll get a wizard hat there. Awesome. That used to be the Gaia hammer, so the wizard hat is a new piece of equipment, so it's kind of nice. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, it's increasing his healing ability, um, increasing his armor rating and everything, so yeah, it is a little bit better. It does lower his um, attack magic stat. Oh, here we have an Ice Beast and a Rear Assault. That's just lovely. Oh, great. Tella, please don't die. That's the last thing that I want you to do. I hate these back attacks. Ugh, they're just so terrible. Huh, even from the back row, though, we can kill them. 
Uh, you know what? Let's use our Gaia Hammer against these guys. There's just a lot of them going on right now. Uh, you, I have a healing staff on you, and I want you to heal yourself with it. I'm, I'm really trying to conserve Tella's MP at this point. I'm really, really, really low. Um, you know what? I wonder if I could just kick these two. Now, I've weakened them with the Gaia Hammer. I'm hoping that a kick will be able to, um, to do them in. Oh, shit. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Probably well, wasn't the best strategy that I've ever thought of, but, eh, it is what it is. And with that, I think that that's all the, uh, new enemies around here, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, one last treasure room to go through, so let's do that real fast. Oh, more new enemies! The Witch and the EP Girl. At this point, Tella and Cecil both have no MP, and I really, really do not want to have to use an ether. I am very close to a save point where I can use a tent, and I am just trying my best to really not have to, um, to do that. Oh, a Butte Bell, that's a new one. I got a wizard's robe, awesome. All this wizard stuff, I believe, um, Cecil can also use because it's because it's increasing uh, Tella's healing ability rather than his magical attack stat, which tells me that it is a white mage's robe, which tells me that Cecil can use it. Oh, I'm barely struggling by. I do have some potions though, but eh, whatever. Here's the save room for the game, and woohoo! I made it. Nice. Yeah, I really need to use this tent too, as you can see. I am just barely scraping by here. But can we rescue Rosa? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Ultima. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.